The first time I came to this function, I believe I said that one would be considered stupid in not investing in Gujarat. The second time I came, it became clear that I was amongst the stupid because barring a large investment in Tata Chemicals many years ago, we had no new investment in Gujarat. That time, I had vowed that we would make a difference. Today, the Tata Group has invested or committed to invest 34,000 crores in the state of Gujarat. Today, when, when investors look for a location to make an investment, they of course look for places that are industry friendly and investment friendly. But they also look for a location that in fact executes what it promises in, where infrastructure is adequate or, or good and where the environment, labor environment is friendly and conducive to productivity. Gujarat stands out different and perhaps better than anywhere else in the country in meeting all these, these goals. And the credit for this goes to Mr. Modi for his vision, for setting high standards, and of course the great support and unity of his entire government that make every investor that comes here feel a sense of fulfillment and, and satisfaction. Your Prime Minister, who has brought a particular energy to this transformational moment, but also because he has already made the name Gujarat synonymous with possibilities, with change, with energy. Where can we see these expectations being met here in Gujarat? Gujarat can also be a crossroad for a new era of sustainable development where technology meets climate action, where entrepreneurs meet clean energy, where young people meet job opportunities. I believe this success is a tribute to Chief Minister Modi's clear vision, decisive action, and strong leadership. Ten years ago, there are only six Japanese companies operating in Gujarat, but now there are 60. Bio Behano, Ane Gujarat Rajyana Lok, Ladla Mukya Mantri Sri Narendra Bai Modi, Namaskar. However, what I think most people do not grasp is what has happened in the last two and a half years. In the last two and a half years, you as a country, Gujarat has led the way, have led the foundation for India not being the fastest moving emerging nation, but the one that will be the example for both the emerging and the developing world.